What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. And as you can see by the title below, we're going to talk about why does a guy come back around when he says he just wants to be friends, when you draw the line and say you just want to be friends. Obviously, he wants more. So what's the deal? Now, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Just click the red button below. And if you want to work with yours truly or get more uh, information on male psychology and how to actually hook men long term so they marry your fine ass, links down in the description. My course, Attraction Academy. Check it out, okay? So I get this question a lot, actually. I have a lot of women say, well, Elliot, I, I did what you said. I drew the line. I, uh, I, I, I don't want to sleep with them. I told them I'm not going to do no one night stand, friends with benefits thing. And we agreed to be friends, okay? And and he pulled away and now he's, he's coming back around, acting like my friend. What's the deal? What's he thinking? So here is the, the gist of it. You're not actually his friend. I have a lot of women say this kind of stuff. You're not actually his friend. There's two types of friend zones, I always say. There's the actual friend zone where you're seen as a non-sexual object. You guys have not messed around. He just does not see you in a sexual way at all. He never made any advancements on you. You're like a lamp, okay, and something non-sexual, a fork. I don't know. Um, however, there's a second one called situational. I call this situational friend zone, and this is where you two are based on the situation friends. So that meaning you can't like go the next step or it's cautious to go the next step. So for example, you both might be taken, he might be your boss, um, a coworker, or the fact that you guys negotiated one wants friends, um, or so not friends, one wants something serious, which is you, one wants friends with benefits, which is him, you're not, neither you're caving in, so you become friends. And a man will always agree to this, ladies, for the most part. He would always agree with this uh, because he still knows that if he has tabs on you, he might convert you. He might flip you over, meaning uh, literally and figuratively, like he might bend your ass over and make you collapse, um, or sorry, crack. Uh, because at the end of the day, you're more outcome dependent than he is. He doesn't want a relationship. It's a win-win for him. If he gets you, he gets you. If he doesn't, he doesn't. You, on the other hand, um, you like him. You have hope. You're hoping that if you guys talk more, um, things like that, maybe he changes. He changes his mind. Oh, Ellie, he's, he's acting really weird. I told him I don't want friends with benefits and you know, and, and he says he doesn't want a relationship, but he's treating me like a girlfriend. Why? Well, because he knows he can weasel his way back in because at the end of the day, it's easier. We're, we're humans. We, we buy based on emotion. He knows he can convert you easier because there's emotions involved. And so what a guy likes to do is kind of slow, slowly play the game. He likes to, you know, stick around. It's like almost orbiting. He's going to reach out here and there. He's going to act friendly. He's going to keep you around. But what a lot of women don't understand is it's not as black and white as that. It's not either this or that. Like just because he's talking to you, for example, doesn't mean he's not talking to other women. It's no skin off his back. A lot of women would say, but Ellie, he can go and get anyone. He probably is getting anyone. He's probably going to talk. If you think you're the only woman he's talking to and you're not putting out and you're not friends with benefits or you're not giving him any assets... He's just entertaining you and entertaining the idea while talking to other women. So when you're friends, you know, situational friend zone, meaning you messed around before, you guys like each other, but you have the title of friendship, just know there's an ulterior motive to what he's doing. You're not actually friends. He is hoping that you crack. And it's easier for you to crack than him because why would he jump to a relationship or wanting a relationship all of a sudden with you when you're not escalating the attraction? You know, the emotion's already not there on his on his side. He already made the decision of friends with benefits. Um, you're just not giving that to him. So it's easier for him, though, to, you know, exercise and, and paint this picture of an ideal guy. And the more you hang out, he's hoping you um, you crack and you guys become something a little more. Okay, so I mean, that's just the gist of it, ladies. So with that being said, again, if you want more information on this kind of stuff, check out my uh, course, Attraction Academy. Link is down below. 
Um, it goes a lot into male psychology and how to actually hook men long term. I think the biggest problem a lot of women have is they don't know how to maximize their attraction and make the most of the situations they're in. They make mistakes. You get in your own way. You don't even realize it. This course will guide you how to maximize attraction and get men to really, really like you and see you long term. So with that being said, ladies, I love you all. Take care and peace.